Hey guys and welcome to a new video. This is going to look at the January 2025 database exam paper. In this video we're going to look at the current data set that you can see on the screen. We can see that this is in an unnormalized form and we're going to go through the normalization process to try and split out the tables so that we can work out what tables and what relationships we're likely to need. As you can see here we've got a number of IDs that are available to us. Party ID, Manager ID, Client ID and Room ID. These IDs are normally a good indicator that these are actually tables because with most tables we'll have unique IDs to help us create what's known as a primary key. As you can see from the screen I'm highlighting areas where we can see easy duplication things like manager's first name, client surname and room name. By following the normalization process and splitting the data out into separate tables we should be able to reduce the amount of duplication that appears within this database. First we're going to take out all of our IDs and separate them into the tables that we need. So party ID, party date, party size, number of feed regions all make up one table. Client ID, client surname, client address and postcode will make up another. And manager ID, manager first name. And then finally in the table for room, room ID, room name and room capacity. This puts our database in the first stroke second normal form whereby we've managed to make separate tables with atomic data in them because we're using primary keys. At this point we move into the third normal form where we move our foreign keys into a table. Now a foreign key is a primary key taken from another table. Here you can see I've moved client ID, room ID and manager ID. Here you can see we've laid the tables out with the data underneath them. By simply putting the primary keys into the tables we can reduce them. So as you can see here room table is being reduced by two thirds to only have three records in it. This is quite a significant saving in terms of data redundancy. We're going to do the same for the client table where we should be able to reduce this by one because there is one repeated field in there. And then finally we're going to look at the managers table and again we're going to reduce this quite significantly so that we only have three records. Next we're going to look at how we can link these tables. So I'm just going to shift these tables over and we're going to draw some lines between the three tables and the one big main table. These lines represent the relationships between the tables. So we have manager ID appearing in the main table as well as in its own table. So therefore the manager ID in the big table is classed as a foreign key. Due to it being a foreign key this field can be repeated as is indicated here. Through this normalization process we've been able to split out our data set into four tables and create primary and foreign keys to link the tables effectively. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and also keep an eye out for the next follow-on video of this where we actually create the database itself in Access.